For anyone who hasn't uh, seen my Christmas jumper before, it's homemade. Hey guys, me and Alex are back, and this week we're doing something very different, wouldn't you say? Yeah, we're big fans of Christmas, and we're also big fans of trying everything Christmassy. And we're big fans of food. And we're big, you know that already. <laughs> so we thought, how about we go to a good cross section of shops and see what their Christmas offering is like. So we've got mince pies, Christmas sandwiches, crackers, and, and chocolates. chocolates. And we're gonna be blindfolded, and we're gonna see if we can guess which is the most expensive of each, all the way down to the cheapest. Yeah, so our four shops, Marks and Spencers, the top of the top, wouldn't you say? Yeah. We're then going Waitrose, Sainsbury's, Aldi. Okay. I'm excited, who's going first? So, you are going first, and Alex is trying sandwiches. Vegetarian sandwiches, if you're wondering why we've not gone for like the yeah. turkey ones. We're trying to save a couple of turkeys. <laughs> oh yeah, save the turkeys! Squabble, squabble, squabble! Here are Alex's sandwiches. We're gonna start off with number one. Okay, I think you're gonna love this, hopefully. Okay, this great. is a Christmas spiced falafel flatbread. Oh, nice. It's nice to see some shops getting a bit experimental with their vegetarian Christmas option because yeah. quite a lot of them go for your classic brie and cranberry and it's a bit like... Yeah. It's a sweet potato falafel, spiced yogurt dressing, feta cheese, braised red cabbage and roasted butternut squash with spinach, dried cranberries and apricots, chestnut pieces and coriander in a flatbread. Did they want to add any more ingredients That in sounds there? great. Oh, it smells good. Smells good, doesn't so it? Good. I really want to buy it, actually. Oh yeah, that's great. Yeah? Mm. Ooh, okay, so this says, brie and spiced cranberry chutney on malted bread. In a round circle, deep filled. Bread feels good though. It does feel good, doesn't it? Spongy. Let me down where I put it. Don't get me wrong, it's, it's good, but it's just a brie and cranberry sandwich. Shop number three. So this is a Christmas chestnut roast wrap with mm. grape and cranberry chutney on a red pepper tortilla. I was wondering why it was that colour. Oh, it's longer than I thought. <laughs> it's quite long, yeah. Oh my word, your bite was big. What's it like eating the sandwich blindfolded? Is it still good because you know the flavour? Still good, yeah. If you didn't know the flavour, I think you'd be a bit creeped out a bit, wouldn't you? The From what you're saying... Is good. The flavour is good. I thought I was going to have to go back, but so far I've got quite a good... Do you? ...in my head, yeah. Okay, and finally, the last sandwich. This is brie and cranberry. Bread also feels good on this. It does, doesn't it? Slightly less spongy, but a better feel. Compared Brilliant. to the first spring cranberry, this is better. Is it? Mm. I'm thinking this is delicious. Okay. I reckon this is same squeeze. Okay. Wait. I just need a bite of the third one. This is the order. This I is. think number one is M&S, and that was my favorite. The Waitrose one was that red, the third one I had, which is my second favorite. This, brie and cranberry, is Sainsbury's, number three. And the second one I had, the other brie one, is Aldi. You got two of them correct. You can take off your blanket. I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. Number one, you said Waitrose. Mm. So actually, M&S isn't in top place. Then you said M&S, so they do still have a good sandwich. Okay. How good? Really good. Now it's my time. My time. Once I've finished eating this, I'm going to give Kate chocolate for that one. So I've got a selection of Christmas style chocolates from all these shops. I tried to get them in as similar style as possible. Let us know in the comments below, what is your favorite? Heroes, Roses, Celebrations or Quality Street? Mm. So our first offering is from, cracking into here, got a nice little, don't fully understand it, but it's kind of cool. Does Layered it? milk and white chocolate ganache mm. sprinkled with chocolate powder. Woo! Can I try? Yeah. Darted delicious, mm. but it tastes a bit cheap. Should we go for the next one? Yeah. This one, just so you know, Kate, has come in a really nice little um, Christmas cracker style box. Ooh. You like pull the ends out. This has got a selection of flavors. These are a bit more 
down to earth flavour, shall we say. Chocolate strawberry creme. Oh yes, please. Then you can have one of those. That's gonna. This is oh, gonna be like. Oh, they're in a... my pockets. This is divine. Is that good? That one. Incredible. Wowzers. That's definitely one of the top. These are from. Not for you to know. These a bit like the last ones are a bit more in your tub style, so they've got like a selection of different flavours. Maybe it's easiest that I give you the strawberry cream from here as well. Yes, please. Hand. That smells dark. Mmm, that kind of seems to have um, a cream and then a... Is there something in the middle? Yeah, it looks more gel than I'm in the middle. This generally tastes like a quality street. Not as nice as the um, last one. This has come in a nice little box with a bow. This is just milk chocolate, uh, milk caramel. So my top one was definitely the strawberry, the second, the first strawberry I tried. My second favourite um, is that one I've just tried. That one just then, the caramel? Just then. My third one would then be the second strawberry dream cream. Yeah. And then my fourth one would be the first one I tried. That tasted like cheap chocolate. <laughs> Take your mask off. This is the order I gave them to you in. Marks and Spencers. Is the lowest. No way. And do you know what you've given second? Audi. You're joking. This is Audi's selection. So let's just talk about Marks and Spencers. Yeah, let's talk about I it. cannot believe that came out last. Now, to be fair, I'm pretty sure Marks and Spencers, because I've been and seen, they probably have much fancier ones as well. Yeah. Waitrose again winning. Waitrose again. I do love Waitrose. They're having a strong Christmas. This would be really good to have as a stocking stuffer. God, I'm going to be so full of this. I know. Close okay. your eyes. Round two for me. The main event. I'm a fan of these oh, yeah. pies that are closed. I don't like the ones that are open No, on top. because it's like you want more pastry. I want the pastry. Each of the shops tend to have uh, a normal mince pie and then a luxury mince pie. So we've gone for all the luxury ones. Okay, so the first shop is rich and buttery mince pies infused with brandy. I'm only going to take one bite no, for now. No good plan. Packet shop two. Oh, this is a much wider feeling mince pie, not as thick. It's good. It feels slightly more powdery. Not as much flavour either. Right. Can I feel you taste like the, the pastry, cognac? there's too I can taste the cognac. Feel like there's too much pastry on this one. See that now it's that would filling. be good for me, I think. Shop number three. All butter short crust pastry pies. Mince pies. Deep filled with plum, vine fruits, cranberries, clementine, cherries, and brandy. Was the last one short crust as well? Or did it not um, specify? It said all butter pastry. Oh. But it didn't specify. So far, it's only the nice fun. flavor, but underwhelming on the pastry. Shop number four: six all butter mince pies. Individual all butter mince pies with a rich mince meat filling, containing apricot. Glacier, glacier cherries, almonds, ooh, and brandy. There you go. Feels okay. greasy. Feels more solid, which I quite like. Oh my word. <laughs> it is massive. It is big. It's good, it's just not what I was expecting. I yeah. was expecting you want traditional. quite traditional, really. I think now we're going to need a quick fire. First one, straight into the second one, straight into the third one, straight into the fourth one, then I'll give my decisions. Okay, one. That last one has really thrown a spanner in the works. Really? Yeah. Number one is number one. Two, second. Is number three. Is number three. Third is two. And fourth is the last one you gave me. Four. You know what we've been, you know how Waitrose has come number one? Yeah. Fourth. I don't know if that though you know is why? because it's the apricot one. So number one is Sainsbury's. No way. Yeah. That was nice. Number and look how like oh dear, look how like filled that is and like this pastry looks so nice. Yeah, that's number delicious. two was Marks and Spencer. Okay, that's good. Number three was Aldi. Mm. And number four is Waitrose. So how good so Sainsbury's it is. Sainsbury's, Sainsbury's they've the come on top for one. The thing is, don't get me wrong, they're all really good mince pies, and that's what was so hard about it. And for the final round for Kate, and probably the most exciting round. Is the cracker round? Cracker round! Cracker round! Cracker round! 
I'm gonna start with this box from. Oh yeah, good plan. This is what we've got from shop number one. That looks really nice. Ready? Ah. Oh. Good smell. Good, good smell. Good smell. What is this? A little running mat. Oh, is this a game? Yes. So this set of crackers comes with the game. This set of crackers comes with the game. These are San Santas. You wind them up. You put them on a board and see who wins. Yeah. Good quality hat. Oh, look at him go! With what do you cut through giant waves? A knife. A seesaw. Well, that's funny, isn't it? I thought these were going to be jokes. Cracker number two, I'm going to give you. This is from. We already have Christmas crackers. Oh, this, this doesn't year. actually say where it's from. And in this box, you get 12. Bit naff. Very naff. I would definitely think this is Aldi. Yeah, it is. Yay! This time. Not as good a smell. Oh, good. Have I finally got a Swedish fish? Yes! I never get these. Put that on your hand. <laughs> And then it tells you how you're feeling. Oh, it's flipping oh. over. Turns oh, it's over. dancing. Turns over. It's false. <laughs> you're false. Anyway, oh, you get a nice green, green hat. hat. Feels very soft. Yeah, not cutting costs on printing, are they? It's like a Costa receipt. <laughs> oh my word, with this you get a joke, a question, and a charade. That's cool. Charade. Joke. Oh. What kind of paper likes music? Music paper. Wrapping paper. Oh. Now that is and a good Christmas one. And it's Christmas based. Okay, even though the decoration is rubbish, like the inside, the like joke, the effort. The joke the... was good, wasn't it? So, we work on your here. outside. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm gonna show you the people at home. This is what we're going, working with now. Look. Oh, wow. It's a tartan. And look how well that's standing. It's tartan. Oh my word. Very nice, it's tartan, it's not just you know, boring. I like the mess What did the bear say at the interview? Rawr. This is what was inside. Oh my word. It's like a Tiffany keyring. That is definitely the top cracker so far. I would say that was like Marks and Spencer's. This is the final one. The final cracker. <laughs> now on initial first look, it looked cheap. But actually, the more I look at it, it is pretty posh. They've gone the extra mile and there is glitter on there. Glitter. I won again. Okay, you've won three out of four now. It smells really good. Ooh, yellow. Hello. Ooh, a notepad. And look, this is like the same as that. Oh, it is, isn't it? Oh my word. Is it the same one? With what do you cut through giant waves? It's the same Seesaw. one. Seesaw. And they're from two different shops. Two different shops. I could tell these two are definitely the cheapest ones. Number one has to be the tartan. My second has to be Father Christmas. Yeah. I would then say this was Sainsbury's and is my third favorite. I would then say this is Aldi and my fourth. How funny is that? What? Exactly right. Exactly right. These are the only ones I we've know got my crackers. straight. So the crackers are where it really shows. When it comes to crackers, it really does make a difference if you put field, a bit of extra yeah. money into these. And I'm pretty sure Marks and Spencer's would have been quite expensive. Yeah. Okay, so looking on that, I would say Waitrose has come out pretty, pretty high on most yeah. of it, which you kind of would expect. And surprisingly, Audi had done very well. Yeah, because although they didn't do well on the sandwich, they did pretty well. On the chocolate. Considering they were they're cheaper than everything else. Yeah. I think Waitrose everyone thinks... were always kind of punching above M and S. Yeah, I think Marks and Spencer everyone thinks, oh it's yeah. so luxury, but actually Waitrose I think has overtaken them this year. Yeah. And different. then Sainsbury's is in there with Audi kind of tipping in. It just shows that really you don't always have to put all the money in to get the best. Yeah. Sometimes you can go to a, a slightly cheaper store and it's still just as good. I really enjoyed that. Did you enjoy that? I enjoyed it, yeah. Let us know if you have any Christmas traditions or Christmas shops that you love buying a specific thing every year round. Yeah. It's not Christmas without it. Thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you soon with another Christmas video. See Bye, guys. Ya.